Hey bosses, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, hey girl, hey. Um, I am coming to y'all very quickly to talk about confidence and style. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you know that I talked or I did a workshop and I also um, did an Instagram live with my good friend who's a licensed therapist, Jason, on confidence and style. And so part of the reason why we did it is because it's something that people don't necessarily necessarily think go together but they do you you cannot really have one without the other so before we dive into the video um, and get into the nitty-gritty uh, make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already like comment do all those things throughout the video as we go through it and without further ado let's get into it so before we kick off y'all know I got the notebook gotta have it handy because we got to stay on task um, but um, to kick us off, let's talk about confidence and style together, right? Um, you might not necessarily think that they go hand in hand, or you may think that um, in order for you to be um, stylish, you have to have confidence, but you don't think about how style can influence confidence. Um, so how do they look together, right? Like how do, how do, they, how do they work together? In order for you to truly express your style, you have to have confidence. Part of it is because you are putting yourself out on the line. Your style is an expression of you. It's an, it's, it's an expression of the internal you. It's you showcasing that for the world to honestly um, judge or to see. Um, and so in order for you to be um, or step boldly into your style and own it, you have to be confident about it. Um, so that's how... Um, confidence really affects style to to the core. Now, the way that style can impact your confidence is that um, we know if you look good, you or what is it? You feel good, you look good, or you look good, you feel good, right? Um, Y'all know I mess up sayings. Don't 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 come for me, okay? But put it in the comments on what it is. But y you know what I'm talking about, okay? If you feel good or if you look good you're gonna feel good, right? So they go hand in hand. Um, so if you're wearing, you got your nice outfit on, you feel good, or let's talk about during a pandemic, right? Um, some of us weren't getting dressed, especially at the beginning, and we noticed that we were, we stayed in kind of like a funk. We um, didn't feel good. We felt lazy, some of us. So think back to that. You know, think about times where you didn't get dressed all day. How did you feel? I know for me, I don't always feel myself. I don't feel that great. I feel lazy. But the moment I get dressed, you know, comb my hair, might put a little makeup on, put on a, a, a outfit, whether it's loungewear or what, what have you, I feel more myself. I feel better and I feel more productive. And so, and, and I show up consequently, right? More confident. So, they go hand in hand. You can't really have one without the other, right? Um, at least being able to express your confidence, okay? So now that we kind of broke up what style and confidence is and how they relate to each other, you know, why is it important? Why are we even talking about it, right? So the, why, the reason why it's important is because style is a way for you to communicate who you are. Remember, that's what we talked about, how um, you know style can impact your confidence. It's a way for you to showcase your personality. It's a way for you to communicate without even speaking who you are as a person. If you look at how someone puts together their outfit or typically how they dress or present themselves to the public, you can kind of get an indication of what that person or who that person is and what they may like. Like and what they might not like and um, generally get kind of like a vibe so you're kind of leaving something on the table by not really caring about your style um, because it is a way for you to express who you are um, to put your personality out there and to communicate to others so if you want to look at it it's kind of like personal branding at least a piece of it so um, you I'm thinking of somebody like Steve Jobs, for example, he used to kind of, you know, always dress in a black shirt. Um, and a lot of people would look at him and say, oh, well, he doesn't have style. Well, everyone has style, whether you care about it or not. Now, whether you leverage your style or not, that's something that's up to you. Um, I, you know, think that you should always leverage something that is inevitable. We all have to get dressed. It's something that we have to do. So why leave that on the table um, where we can leverage it? Okay. Steve Jobs um, actually 
had style his style was a black t-shirt and some black pants or jeans and that was his way of communicating who he was he wasn't really focused on you know having to put together a suit or, or things like that because he allowed his work to really speak for himself in that um you know black shirt and those jeans was more or less a uniform for him um it's what he want how he wanted to present himself to the world so it was his personal brand you see photos of him you almost guarantee you was going to see him in some type of black shirt and some black bottoms and that became um his aesthetic it became his personal brand I know for me personally, there was a time where, and this is kind of where confidence comes in, where um, I was in high school and I was, you know, kind of getting used to this new body, okay? Um, and your girl kind of busty, okay? Um, and when I was younger, I didn't know how to tomboy all that, you know? So I didn't know how to really, um, you know, dress for these new boobs, okay? <laughs> and so it made me very insecure. It made me very self-conscious. I've always been into fashion, always loved putting and things together but because I was not confident with this new body um, I covered myself up so I was wearing things that honestly I did not particularly like but I felt comfortable in because I was not confident in my body yet now what happened was I realized I wasn't, I didn't feel 100% comfortable with myself. So I dealt with some insecurities and things like that in high school because I wasn't being me. Um, for me, I, I, I like I like I said, I love style, love fashion. I saw the back in the day, it used to be like the guest outfits and things like that. And that was kind of what I wanted to wear, but I was not confident enough to wear it. Um, so basically my style, the way I presented myself in high school, and who I felt like I was as a person, even though I was insecure, it was a conflict. So it actually added more to my insecurity. So then when I started to get used to this new body and all that, you know, um, I started to feel more secure in myself to wear the things that I've always wanted to wear. And so that's when I felt like, man, like I'm, I'm finally, I feel like me. I feel like I'm showing up, you know, in the world as myself. This feels good, okay? Um, so whereas before I, you know, I just didn't feel like I was presenting myself as me because I wasn't confident enough. So as I got older, got more secure, I was able to present myself as my, as me, who I felt like I was internally to the world through my fashion, through my style. And it made me be more confident as a person. So once again, that's how, you know, when you think about style and confidence, that's how it kind of works is it goes back and forth, back and forth. So we talked about, you know, we started off by talking about how style and confidence relates, right? Then we talked about why it's important. And now how do you do it? Like, how do you, how do you be style confident? How do you um, build your style personality and then build your confidence at the same time? Well, part of it is back to my boob story. So you have to get comfortable with yourself. You have to reacquaint kind of recenter yourself and say you know at the core who am I then you want to go into um, how do you want to present yourself to the world like what do you want people to feel when they meet you what do you want to communicate what do you want them to see and that will help you to decide um, how you want to show up in the world so then you want to kind of look at who inspires you so not to copy them not to feel insecure but really thinking about someone this could be someone that you know personally it can be a celebrity it's just someone that you look at and you're like man like i love the way they put themselves together or i love the way that they their vibe their energy you know that that their vibe their energy the way that they put this, themselves together feels so much like me that person's very inspiring to me i really i rock with that person right so think of the it could be a couple of people but you know for for this video think of one person that does that for you and then um see how they you know show up in the world see how they you know put things together how is their style like what do they gravitate to um and see um how that kind of relates to how you either want to show up in the world or how you're already showing up then once you kind of do that self work, okay, it's gonna feel like therapy. Um, you want to go through your closet or think about kind of what you wear already. And I would even go as far as to say, if it don't 
fit your where you want to go or it don't it doesn't make you feel good it doesn't make you feel comfortable get rid of it you know there's it doesn't have a place in your closet if it doesn't make you feel good part of the exercise is not necessarily to be a trendsetter to be the stylish person most stylish person walking into a room it is to be comfortable with how you're showing up it can be that you're a t-shirt and jeans person that's totally fine um, as long as you're confident in that and it makes you feel good, that's how you want to show up. After you do that, you want to start to create a uniform. Now, your uniform can be or will be probably situational because obviously if you're like me, I like a blazer and jeans. And so when I want to kind of dress up or be more professional or I like a blazer and slacks, that's kind of my thing. When I'm kind of low key, I, especially in the fall, I gravitate to a good jogger bottom with a good t-shirt or tank in the kind of like fall, summer, fall uh, months. I love, um, you know, pairing uh, leather or faux leather pieces. Um, with my bottoms I love denim though that's kind of my style uniform so when you go into my closet you will see all of, of that type of, of garments in my closet so it makes it easier for me to dress it makes me so I, I don't walk into my closet and say I don't have anything to wear or when I pick something out of my closet I know I'm gonna feel 100% comfortable and 100% confident because I've aligned my style to my personality and who I am as a person how I want to show up in the world so there's a rare it's rare that I go into my closet now and I'm like Ugh, I don't have anything to wear I'll always have something to wear for every occasion when you when you kind of go through the exercise and you get to the point where you're kind of uh, you know cleaning out your closet and you're basically purchasing new items to put in there always keep how you want to show up in the world in the back of your mind keep your personality in mind you're not necessarily dressing for trends when we talk about style you're dressing for how you want to show up in the world of course some of those items will end up being trendy um, and it's fine to do that but that's kind of that's going to be your palette and then you can kind of finesse as I would say as you go on and finally have fun like this is a form of self-care like you know it, it's a way for you to um, build your confidence along with your style it's a way for you to ensure that you're you're pouring into yourself you're you're feeling good so you want to make this fun this is not something where you beat yourself up because um, you're not Rihanna you don't dress like Rihanna a lot of us don't dress like Rihanna um so and, and there's nothing wrong with that or if you don't feel like you gravitate towards like trendier items don't beat yourself up for that it's totally fine um this exercise should be exploratory it should make you feel good you should learn a lot about yourself through this process um and 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 have fun shopping okay um and if you you know get it stuck or you feel like you know you you don't want to do it alone they there are professionals sis there are professionals that will help you stylists wardrobe consultants they they go by a host of different names um if you do not want to go at it alone but um I hope that this helped you know I, I've gone through this exercise like I said I've done webinars and whatnot um, and people really um, you know resonate with this type of, of topic because it's something that we don't necessarily think about but it's so important to um, being able to show up as our authentic um, true selves you guys so um, anyway drop some some comments in the comment section let me know if you guys are kind of you know going through this journey of figuring out your style along with you know getting some getting more confident with your style um you know figuring out your style personality all those good things if you have tips drop them in the comments you know we're a community over here sharing is caring um if you resonate with this content and you liked it make sure you like comment and subscribe and until next time you guys I will see you later. Enjoy the rest of your week or whenever you're watching this.